Hello, my name is Luke. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to go over anti-aliasing. Throughout the rest of the video, I will refer to this as AA. I will also try my best to call out any shortcuts I use and give any tips relevant to what I am doing in a Sprite. So to start off, we need to create a gradient between the background colour and the colour of the image you are applying the AA to. In this case, the background colour is red and the colour of my image is a light blue. To do this in a Sprite, we have two options. One is to use a gradient fill tool. This does have certain benefits on a more complicated image. When creating a gradient fill for AA, I do suggest that you create them on a separate layer. I'm going to skip the separate layer when I do this, as I will not be using this method here. But I will show you how it is done and explain all the benefits to it. Before we create a gradient fill, we need to select an area where we want it to be created. So take the rectangular marquee tool, which is the first tool right at the top of the toolbar. You can also use the default shortcut key for this tool, which is M, that is M for macaroni. Now we select an area for our gradient fill. Try to keep the size relevant to the gradient size you require. I want a gradient of 5, so I will try to select an area of around 5 pixels in height for this one. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in height, and we have our area. So let's go ahead and create a gradient using the gradient fill tool. You can select it on the toolbar by clicking on the water droplet. This is the fill tool. From the pop out menu, select gradient tool. Alternatively, you can use the default key bind, which is Alt G. Before we add the gradient, we need to select the colors. The simplest way to do this is to hold down the Alt key and use the mouse buttons to select the color. Left click to get the primary color and right click to get the secondary color. Now we use the gradient in the selected area. Just click and drag to create it. To keep it straight, hold down the shift key. Now we have a gradient, but what are the benefits to this method? Well, if you have a complex image that requires many gradients for different areas of AA, then using this method can keep your palette cleaner. Here is an example. As you can see, we have different areas that have different gradients for the AA in that section. If we add all these colors over here in the palette, it will get confusing, so keeping them on the image in a separate layer can be very helpful. The next method which I will show you is also the one I am going to use for this tutorial. I am going to use the palette to create a gradient. First I need to add the colours I am using to the palette. I do this by selecting my colours and clicking on the little exclamation mark next to the colour which you can find under the colour wheel. Once I have both my colours in the palette, I need to expand the size of the palette. To do this, I grab the two vertical lines next to the final colour. It looks a little bit like a pause button. I expand this out to give me room for the gradient. To create a gradient, we need to separate the two colours which we will be using. To do this, select a colour so that it has a yellow outline. Click and drag the yellow outline to create space between the two colours. Now, click and drag from one colour to the other. This will create a selection. Once you have the selection, click the little down arrow next to the padlock just above the palette. From the drop down menu, select gradient. Now we have our gradient and we are ready to start with AA. I will start off with a circle. This is a method I use, which I feel is the easiest to learn. So first off, if a pixel ratio is 1, 1, which is 1 pixel across and 1 pixel up or down, which creates this diagonal line, which you can see here on the corner, if that is the ratio, then you don't need to apply AA there. So moving on, when the ratio moves to two pixels in either direction, then we use one pixel of AA. To do this, you take the middle colour of your chosen gradient and apply that pixel on the inside of your image's border. For the next step, which is three pixels in either direction, we use two pixels of AA. On the outside of the border of your image, you want to use a colour from your gradient that is 75% the background and 25% the image. In this case, let's just say a colour closer to the background on the border and a colour closer to the image within its border. Anything that is greater than 3 pixels in ratio will now follow the same rule. 
which is to put your middle gradient color on the outside of your image's border and then just continue your gradient in both directions, fading into the background and fading into the image. I will now speed this up just to finish off one side of the circle. As you can see in the preview window, one side of the circle is looking much smoother than the other. All this is done using a small and simple gradient and a few basic rules. Now I'm going to expand more on this to give you a much better grasp on how I apply this method. I will do so by showing you how to manually add AA to this line down here. First I will use this small gradient that I have already set up on one side and then a larger gradient on the opposite side. This will demonstrate the difference that gradient size will have on your final image. Keep in mind however that you only need to increase your gradient size if your ratio is going beyond 4 or 5 pixels. So let's start. This is where AA becomes really simple. Big long lines on a small incline. The only rule I have with this method is to put the middle colour from the gradient on the outside of the line. That's it. After which you just fill in the gradient, fade it into the line and fade it into the background. Simple. I will go ahead and finish up this side of the line so that we can understand how we can tell if we need a bigger gradient. As you can tell, the line still looks fairly rough. Just have a look in the preview. Not as rough as it did, but still rough. Now I will increase the gradient and do the same on the other side to show you the difference. As you can see it is much smoother, even zoomed in by 1200%. Let me show you now at 100%. The bottom of the line is perfectly smooth. The top of the line is not too bad at this scale. At 200% you can start to see the jaggies on the top of the line. The bottom of the line still perfect. At 300% the bottom of the line is still very smooth. The top of the line is just not good enough anymore. It needs more AA and therefore a bigger gradient. So to recap, you do not need to apply AA to any pixels that are on a 1 to 1 ratio. You only need one pixel of AA on a 2 to 1 ratio and you only need two pixels on a 3 to 1 ratio. If you ever find yourself struggling, start with the method I used here, which is to take the middle gradient colour and put it on the very edge outside the image and then complete the gradient fading into the image and into the background. The only exception to this rule is on a 2 to 1 ratio, where you skip the middle colour and just close the gap. I hope this video helps you get to grasp with AA, and I hope that I have helped you understand it a little bit better. If you like this video, please take the time to give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe and the notification bell for more upcoming videos.